good. Um, um, second session in which we agree the scoring level of funding. Uh, we will vote on the scoring following the additional information provided by the organisation and the revised scoring provided by the hospitals once all applications have been heard. In line with the policy, all awards are subject to sufficient budget. High priority applications award the full amount as requested by the committee. If there is any budget left after all the high priority applications have been awarded, then the medium priority applications will see between 50 and 75 percent of their funding request. Budget permitting. Low priority applications ordinarily wouldn't receive any funding. However, budget permission, above it, budget permitting, if the panel can justify the reason for awarding the organisation and the policy, this will be possible. In order to help the committee as we discuss the scores, officers will display a funding spreadsheet to reflect the changes and so the impact this has had on all life organisations within the available budget. Once all awards are agreed, the committees uh, agree the committee's recommended awards will be presented to the cabinet member for community well-being and the chairman, the chair's written approval and in consultant consultation with the head of services, policy and programs will consider the grants panel's recommendations when determining the capital grants, awards and conditions. Right. Um, we then proceed with the um, uh, applications. Uh, sorry. Uh, Chair, I just want at this point to um, uh, Basically, kind of declare a a kind of potential personal interest of um, that I'm a section assistant in another a scout group, um, and so this is in reference to the the Clifton, Hamden, and the Cot Sea Scout group. Um, although this is not a plenary interest because I would not sort of financially benefit my scout group, not financially benefit at all of um, awarding um, a grant to this. Um, application. Um, however, it might be um, perceived that I would be more favourably disposed to granting this application um, than perhaps other panel members. So I won't be um, uh, contributing to the discussion or voting on this item. Thank you very much. <clears throat> right. Um, to um, help the parish councillors of Warborough who are here observing uh, this session, uh, we will deal with their application first. Um, and uh, I've got this statement to read out. Um, well, so can we can we actually please discuss this uh, application with the committee members, and then. Um, we can discuss how you proceed. I'll open it to the panel discussion for the um, Marlborough Sports Pavilion refurbishment project. Uh, so I think you'll find that on page 72 of your um, agenda. Have the panel any comments on this? I've already, I already gave my comments at the when we were talking to the people when they were presented that maintenance of the building after the after the work. Thank you very much. Any um, my comments would just be that I have, well, totally supporting the restoration of this building, some reservations around the specifics of the design at this stage. So and I see that there's the potential to perhaps hopefully improve the design. Um, going forward, but that's all I would say. Um, would the panel like to vote on the scores for each criteria in the, of the Marlborough project? So, First, first criteria was um, community community need and inclusion, which is score of 
the United States was provided, what was given. Any comments on that? Any comments? The um, next score was for who will benefit from your project? Four out of six was given for that. That's on page 75. Um, section was financial sustainability questions from the application form. Two out of six was given for that. Actual climate emergency, that's sorry, it. climate emergency. Yeah. Yeah, two out of six. Four out of six for climate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> six for climate. Okay, let's get that one. It's one. It's got three out of six. That's for project theme. Yeah, so three out of six. Total score 16 and 30. That was increased from 12 and 30. Any comments? Okay. Any other comments from the officers? No? Yeah. I think so. I think you've heard um, an awful lot about the um, project. You've seen the um, information that was supplied um, post officer um, recommendations to you from the applicant. You've obviously heard from the applicant. You've seen um, photographs and plans of the proposals. Um, so uh, I think um, Les Paul's got any further questions? Um, project. Okay. Thank you very much, Jane. That's good. Right. Um, so um, I'd like to propose a, uh, a motion on this. Um, uh, uh, my proposal, we need a, a voting this, don't we? Um, I propose that a uh, condition is, is to um, submit revised plans by 1st of August 2023, taking account of the guidance from ECB, creating welcoming environments and the equality act where possible. Uh, that um, deliver the outcomes of appropriate male and female changing areas, um, disabled toilets and horrible space. Funding to be released when building rates approval if required have been granted. Can we all vote on that? All those in favour? Sorry, I have a second. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, <laughs> just, I'll second. Have a second. Sorry, thank you. Thank I'll you. Second. Uh, can you vote on that, please? I think that um, brings us to uh, conclude with the Warborough uh, Parish Council application. We'll see that. Thank you. Okay. Very important. Shall we then go to the order, which is uh, weekly for the Parish Council Got any questions, any points about the uh, scoring? That's weekly. Weekly, weekly, weekly. Yes. Yeah. Community need and inclusion. <laughs> we all agree that it should be uh, six out of six. Yes. Yes. Good. Okay. Is uh, community benefits. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Right, 
Should we just go through um, the total score? Well, basically, just if you've got any other questions about the scores, you can just let me know. Mm -hmm. That'd be easy if you're reading it to us. Yes. The total, total score was. Um, so, so we didn't do the final. We didn't do the final, did we? No. So, does the piece that was given later on give an, an increase of anything at all? It still doesn't take the Does it take much to fall? No. No. Um, we in agreement that the score should be 2022. Yes. Yes, good. All right, that's agreed. Noted. Um, let's go to the next application, which is the Bolton Parish Church, Hope Bolton Parish Council. Uh, that is the um, orchard play equipment. Any questions about the scores for that? No. no. Right. Okay. So. Um, we agree on that score? Yes. Yeah. 20, yeah. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Oh, 25. 25. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which one went up by one more point? It was a, it was a typo on oh, the bottom. Oh, right. The front okay. sheet was correct. All oh, right. Thank you. Next, uh, Bromley Pool Centre Limited, Interactive Water Feature for Disabled Access. Um, that had 27. 30. Comments on that? So you need a little bit more tip so people don't have to be outside with their underpants. <laughs> 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 That's good. That's good. Um, so they went up significantly. <laughs> so they were already, yeah, they were not a lot. Yeah. So we're all facing that risk. Yes. Agreed. Yeah, good. yeah, agreed. Yeah. Um, going quite well. Uh, South Morton Parish Council, the uh, recreation park, ground, recreation ground park, um, 22. They're already on high priority, so adding an extra point for climate doesn't make a difference anyway, does it? No. 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 Yeah. Um, I think we're all happy with that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Dorchester on Thomas Parish Council. Upgrade village playground and play for the late one people. Disabled children. Disabled access. That was 21. Mm -hmm. Any any questions about that? No. no. Good. So we all agree. Great. Great. Um, what is the sports trust? Solar panels and battery. It's 24. Questions on that? Anything mm -hmm. other concerns? I would say that I didn't actually uh, break down the savings. They did. Did they? Yes. Well, at least they put detail in on the page. When you were asking them, he was sort of trying to remember. Um, uh, well, I'll oh, trust him. <laughs> uh, okay, are we all happy with this? Yeah, and they they've got the sign off, not the sign off, but you know they've had an analysis done by the yeah. Carbon Hub. Yeah, you know, yeah. So. yeah. Mm -hmm. good. Okay, they're all happy. Good. Yeah. Now yeah. we're on to the medium priority um, applications. Uh, so here, uh, which is. Seventeen out of twenty. So that's seventeen out of thirty. I mean, questions on 
Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, are members um, happy about the condition of just funding the laptops rather than the um, networking equipment? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Seventy-nine thirty. Um, <coughs> Berensfield Parish Council installation of solar panels on the sports pavilion. Okay, um, this is um, a condition. Are you happy with that? That's um, a recommendation that the parish council about parish council carries out a full audit, energy audit on its buildings to understand where energy savings can be made, and no grant payments are made until evidence has been provided for funding being secure. So this is to change the score on climate from being just one out of six so far. Is that right? Just an officer recommendation. No, but um, it wasn't relevant to the specific score. It was just to safeguard the um, the funding. Before we make sure that the project will be robust and they've got sufficient funds for the whole project before we release any money. So, so you're asking them to do a survey of the places, but are you actually asking them to agree to do whatever comes out of the survey as well? It's just to do an energy audit because the right. um, proposal is very early <coughs> in its um, development stages. Obviously, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, but, but yeah, just to have a so the money is not dependent on doing a survey, having ten things, and then doing the ten things before they get the money. No, okay. And again, it would be somebody like the local urban hub to provide that sort of. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We're all happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah. Good. Okay. Um. Bletchley and Stonewood Village Hall. Uh, this was the electric park grant for the two EV power chargers. I do have a concern over this one. Really, I know I'm spratting on about this a lot, but but if they were to be in the position that the two councils that we've had do this were in, of uh, finding that the putting the cable in turns out to be double the cost, parish council, council couldn't afford to pay for that. Cable, then this would stop because mm. we're paying here for the connection of the, putting the EV charges in, not the power to it. So. This is from SSEM or something like that. Yeah. Works. It can be very expensive. Yeah. They, I, that, that would be my only concern. They're not a big council and they have mm. a massive bank account. So, you know, if it was a large increase, but then they wouldn't, we wouldn't take it any further than if they couldn't put the cable in, they wouldn't get the money EV and wouldn't want the EV charges done. No, and then um, there would be obligations for them to return the funding. Any funding that we had released, they would be right. obliged to return if they didn't complete the project. Mm -hmm. we, yeah. we do regular monitoring on that. Yes, yeah. because what's caught people out before is they've had a set money for the cable, a set money for the charges, and the cables cost them the amount of both. Mm -hmm. So now they've spent their their money that they had mm -hmm. for the charges on refilling the hole or whatever for the cable because they charge us such a lot of money to do it. It's money. They want three phase, don't they? So yeah, they have to have a really strong one to, yeah, to do strong. fast charging. Yeah. Great. Any um yeah, other... presenting that information is actually the John Parish Council. He yeah. also wants to um, yes. the charging points. The the Beckley um, and so the village hall didn't come to present to us today. Oh. Mm -hmm. But they still want to install two yeah. charging points, so we're okay. still face the same issue. Yeah. So is this the same? Is that the, the same application? Yeah. It, you should be looking at the one on page six to be correctly. Yeah. We didn't present it as up to date. It's But that's the same yeah. issue, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Except they're not saying that they would only spend the money on the EVs. They're wanting a total of six of nine thousand two hundred and sixty-three, two thousand of which they're paying themselves. Mm -hmm. But it's the same issue, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, are we in favour of this application? Yeah. Uh, now we're on to um, get train from people. We had a score of 17.
think any concerns about this? No, no, no concerns. Okay, great. We will agree with the score of uh, 17 out of 30. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ah, uh, Stanton St. John. Eighteen out of thirty, Stanton St. John, two EV charges. Yeah. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Good. Uh, Clifton Hamden, um, Clifton Hamden and Clerk at C Scar Group. In group, the Scar Spot. Are you happy with the scores they received? Um, Chair, I would like to propose that we increase their score um, in the, on the metric of action on the climate emergency. Um, because firstly, the project itself is an action on the climate emergency insofar as it will enable them to install solar panels at some point in the future. It will create an insulated warm space for use by the by the scout sea scouts um and we heard today some detail about the sort of work that they do around climate and nature um in terms of children educating children on the climate emergency um and their litter picking um efforts which are going to start this year in earnest so um and led light led lighting there was a whole range of other yeah, sort of I agree. measures and i'm i think possibly because of their lack of experience in in you know dealing with grant yeah. applications I don't think they showed fully um, just how important the work they do really is, um, particularly yeah. in terms of education around young people on climate. So okay. I think we could quite easily take them up on that metric. So would you, would you recommend 20? Or, or well, on the actual on climate, climate emergency, I would say we could take them up there in three out of six at the moment. I would say at least an increase to four out of six. Okay. Does everybody agree with that? Any objections? Yeah. Okay. Come for their community need as well as inclusion with with the amount of people that they're involved with. I don't think that came across quite as much until they were talking about it. I would agree because again, because of their lack of experience in applying for grant funding, mm -hmm. yeah. they did a, a community consultation which um came back in a very short period of time mm -hmm. with over 100 responses. Um, and we know as well that they're very active and very important in Berensfield, which is obviously um, one of the more um, deprived mm -hmm. areas in our, mm -hmm. in our district. And I yeah. think that the work they do in, in communities yeah. around and like Berensfield <laughs> is important. And I don't think that that necessarily came across until they spoke to mm -hmm. us today. It's miles away, isn't it? Very close. Yeah. Within the, yeah. So, well, I think if we say an additional point on community need, inclusion, yeah, three and, out of six, three yeah. out of six. and then we take them up to four out of six on action on climate. But in all honesty, I'd be happy for them to go to five, but I understand that perhaps. That's, that's 19 plus three. Will be 19 plus two at a minimum. 24, no, okay. so they go to 21. Okay. Okay, well, okay, 21. Okay, yeah. Do we have to vote on that, or is it okay to what we vote at the end? So, all in agreement? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. The high priority, which means they'll get uh, one out of seven. Yes. Okay, good. Um, and then we come to uh, Vorbra, right, the council we dealt with already. And Henley Rowan, which Currently has nine. Voting Um Any any uh, comments on voting club uh, score? Okay. okay. Well, that concludes the um, uh, story. Yeah, would you like to see the results of that one? Oh, yes, please. Thank you very much. Yes. 
going to do one or two things. Yeah, I'm just going to change a couple of things. I'm going to share the screen. This is the best thing. So, um, this means now that, that, as we've said before, the high scoring priorities will get a 100% of their request. Yeah, yeah. 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 Zoom it up a bit. Mm -hmm. So the result at, at the moment then, um, because of the increase in um and Hamden. Um, that means um, that we can now award 74 medium scoring priority projects. They would receive 71.30% of their request. And high scoring priorities stay at 100% and low priority um, wouldn't receive any funding at all. When to the full. Budget. Yeah. Um, there are other options in the the policy, um, but it would impact on um, if you can justify um, your reasoning. Um, there are options in the policy to fully fund projects below ten thousand pounds. Um, but that obviously would impact on any other projects um, receiving um, the ninth, the seventy-one point thirty percent. So to reduce parish council is like under ten, isn't it? Beckley and Stonewood. So you, it would be the um oh there's quite a lot actually. There's um, um, can we, can we get Beckley, Dick Train and Stanton St John, they're all projects which are under £10,000. And so, for, just to clarify, Joe, it's not the project cost, but it's the amount they're requesting for. Yes. The grant they're Seven requesting, yeah. yeah. Seven. South Morton, they, because they, we um, got them as high priority, oh, right. yes. Yes. they already get the 100%. Yes, yes. yes. Um, but if you were to, to increase those, it would reduce the amount that you could give to um, medium scoring priorities. They scored nine points. So that's a bit more. So without, do without doing this, Without doing that, then we spend all the budget. Um, but if we do want to increase those, we would have to reduce the medium. Uh, I'd have to start playing around a little bit with this figure. Oops. Just move that and do that. So we're at 300 and do uh, 3,000, nearly 4,000 over budget. 
at the moment with trying to oh, right. award those three that are under the ten thousand pounds. So the only way we can do it is to reduce the medium. If you just put mediums to seven percent of that instead of seven point one, what is how much difference would that make? Seventeen percent. Seventeen percent rather than seventeen. Yeah. Uh, still over budget. Nine, eight, um, okay, well, sixteen. Oops. So I'm saying by reducing those numbers down, the likelihood of the projects coming forward because obviously yes. they all they all need match funding of some description, whether it's from their own funds That's or true. Their That's true. grants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're limiting the likelihood of them coming forward quite quickly. Across yeah. the board, you yeah, mean across the board, yeah. yeah. I'm very happy to award I don't know where they are sleep, but award all of the medium priority projects um the same debt level, which was seventy one point three oh. Yeah. I'd be happy with that. Yeah. As a fair way forward. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. But could we do that if we go over the budget? We we wouldn't go over the budget if we um if we don't award those which are requesting below ten thousand pounds. Right. We keep them as as per their seventy one point three right, right, percent. Right, right, right. Uh, we wouldn't be over budget. Okay. So no, they've gone from seventy five percent to seventy one point three because we because you have increased a couple of the projects mm -hmm. yeah. in the high priority. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. So do you have what view do you have on the top train? In terms of points, yeah, you know, at the I mean, I don't, I don't know it terribly well, I have to say, but um, how much do they get under this process? Well, they would get seventy one point three percent of six thousand three hundred. Yeah, I'm just looking at four thousand five hundred and thirty four. And how much are they asking? And they were asking for six thousand three hundred or something. Six three five nine. They asked for. It was to be a fitter room, really, wasn't it? We got some yeah. room. Yeah, there was some movable partitions, and. They're all, a TV. Yeah, they're not a huge uh, company, are they? Not no. huge. There are a lot of volunteers there. They look quite a big bank balance for a small organisation. Mm. Oh, that's not bad, then. If I might kind of clarify, so the recommendation therefore would be to the uh, portfolio holder that high scoring applications should receive 100% of the request of funding, medium scoring applications should receive 71.3% of the request of funding. Low scoring applications you receive no grant funding. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's right. If that's agreement, then I guess that would be agreed. That would be conditions as well that we with those conditions. Yes, yeah. with that we yeah. Brilliant. I think um, unless there's anything else, I think this concludes the um, grants panel. Uh, so uh, the time is um, 
five past two, and uh, we will finish the meeting.